Final Fantasy VII is consistently in the conversation for the best games of all time, alongside Zelda's Ocarina of Time and Metal Gear Solid. Do you want to win yourself $30 to spend on the Steam store? Well, you're in luck, as we're currently running a giveaway for exactly that. Simply head on over to bit.ly slash tmsteam30 to enter. Good luck! All three games are more than two decades old now, and look quite dated in comparison to the games of today. Both Link and Solid Snake's adventures have been followed up in subsequent titles, but as the Final Fantasy series features a new cast of characters in each game, Cloud and Friends Tales seems to be forever relegated to the block graphics of the late 90s. That is, until the Final Fantasy VII Remake hit shelves, something most Final Fantasy fans are eagerly awaiting. So what do we know about the Final Fantasy VII Remake? Well, not all that much really. Square Enix has kept its cards close to its chest when it comes to this project. The game was revealed to fans back in 2015 at E3, and everything revealed since then has come in drips and drabs. A reveal trailer was dropped in 2015 alongside the initial reveal. A further trailer featuring gameplay came at PSX 2015, and since then all we've had is a number of screenshots. Four of the original key staff members from Final Fantasy VII have returned to work on the remake. Original character designer Tetsuya Nomura returned as both director and main character designer. Original director Yoshinori Katashi acted as producer. Nobu Umiatsu is also involved. The new Final Fantasy VII is a remake, and not just a remaster. So what does that mean exactly? Well, the game will likely not be a carbon copy with new graphics, but instead it will be a retelling of the classic 1997 story, but with some changes to accommodate the appetites of a modern audience. Additional content is to be expected, as well as some adjustments to the original character designs. The biggest change is likely to come from changes to combat. For those of us that adore the old school turn based combat of the original, then it's likely to be bad news. The combat is very likely to be more action focused in a similar vein to Final Fantasy XV, whose engine this remake is also using. The story is also likely to receive a bit of an update, due to the expansions of the Final Fantasy VII lore in subsequent spin off titles and animated films. The game will be episodic. Square Enix have decided to release the game in three separate parts as to not cut out any content from the original game. While the specifics have not been announced, there are two different methods that Square Enix could use for this. Telltale's episodic style has shown huge success with titles such as The Walking Dead or with Don't Nod Entertainment's Life is Strange. These games were included under one price tag and would unlock for the player every couple of months. Square Enix have previously attempted this style of game with the Hitman reboot, but they abandoned this model for the sequel, which could be telling with their decisions for the Final Fantasy VII Remake. The other potential style could be the one they went with for Final Fantasy XIII, which saw three separate games released in different years and required a full price purchase for each one. The final and most disappointing thing is that we have no idea when this game will release. After an announcement in 2015, it was expected that the game would be dropped by 2018. However, initial leaked conversations between producer Kitashi and development lead Hamaguchi have suggested that it could be as late as 2023 before we finally get our hands on the Final Fantasy VII Remake. The conversation stated that the aim was to have the game released before the 35th anniversary of the company. Another potential reason for the delay is that it's been confirmed that the game will be a PlayStation exclusive, at least at first. Given that the current gen is reaching the end of its life cycle, it might be that the Final Fantasy VII Remake will hold out until next gen. But could we be getting it earlier? Maybe. Square Enix recently released their financial projections, which revealed that they're expecting a big increase in revenue for the third and fourth quarters of the 2019 fiscal year. This would be between October and December 2019. With nothing currently announced to be released during this period, could it be Final Fantasy VII? Only time will tell.